Okay, so um, a lot of guys, they quit training when they get older. Joints hurt, whatever, right? Um, can you keep training when you get older or should you quit? Uh, what's old? Well, let's say something like 40-ish. 40? I'm 40. Well, I'm not in competition with anyone else, right? But I move better now, faster than I was when I was in my 30s or 20s. Well, what do you do to keep it up? Change your diet, stretch a lot more, change your strength training program. And um, for me, I added a lot more circles in my movements because it helps me overcome inertia, right? Because I had a lot of joint pains. And then I spent a lot of time hiding those circles. So it still looks like I'm doing straight lines, right? Anyone can do it. You just don't be stubborn. You change your training program, adapt, find new ways to do things. That's all. A lot of times when people get to about 40, they start to feel a little depressed and they quit. They're starting to think, I'm not the man I used to be. And I think in their head, they're thinking, old means weak. But that's just from cultural conditioning. Because in this culture, we're often told, old means weak, right? But I don't agree with that. I think that's just brainwashing. Because when I look around the world, there's too much evidence. I see too many old masters doing incredible things at an old age, right? I think what we do need is better role models. Some attributes don't go away even when you get older. Look at Jesse here, he's doing Chisao and he was in his 70s and the guy was incredible. Or the champ Jack Dempsey, he knocked out two guys, two muggers, when he was 78 years old. The guy was still hitting really hard. And here we have a karate sensei who's still moving well and is in incredible shape into his 70s. Wow. And some old karate masters are still picking fights with rocks. Imagine getting hit by this grandpa's iron hand. It would be like getting hit by a wrench. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. Oh. And some guy says, hey, I'm getting so low that I need to use a walking stick. Well, learn to use a stick right. Look at this guy go. And here we have Tyson, he just turned 50. And according to this culture, 50 is old and weak. But would you want to fight him? We can still get our workout in, we can still get stronger and have those happy brain chemicals, even into old age. Look at these guys. And we can still maintain our flexibility if we keep stretching. Maybe even do the split. The most epic of splits. Bottom line is, getting old doesn't have to be weak and useless. If we go with the flow, change and adapt our training program, then we can still enjoy the arts we love well into old age.